you, hey everyone, it's Nothany Titano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Rihanna record, Anti. International pop and R&B singing sensation, Rihanna finally following up her 2012 LP, Unapologetic. Fans have been waiting four years for this moment. She has teased relentlessly up to this point with a sporadic slew of non-album singles, including songs like Pour It Up, as well as Bitch Better Have My Money, as well as the song American Oxygen. Only the song Work, all these singles in between the release of this and her last album, only Work actually ended up making it onto this project, which I guess is unfortunate because it's one of my least favorite singles that she's put out over the past few years. Now, this album over here, sadly, it's not really the bold, risky move that I was hoping that Rihanna would take to sort of turn the page onto the next chapter of her career. What's gonna keep Rihanna interesting and exciting for the next five to 10 years? Um, I, I'm not sure after listening to this. It's not really that imaginative, nor does it find Rihanna that unique or stunning of a sound, and it's completely lacking in song ideas for at least a third of the record. The track Consideration, which kicks the whole LP off, is not a bad start to the album, really feels like an intro. Rihanna delivers her voice over this kind of rigid boom-bap beat that seems very textured, sort of dirty. In a way, it kind of reminds me of some production that Tyler the Creator would pull together. But it doesn't necessarily ruin the track or anything like that. If if anything makes the song underwhelming, and maybe I'm a little more forgiving on this because it feels like an intro and it's kicking off the LP, it's that it's not structured all that well. For the most part, there's not really a strong verse or a chorus here. It feels like Rihanna, though her vocal performance is good and the melodies that she's delivering are pretty jazzy, uh, it's, it's like she's improv more than she's actually delivering anything that she's written. Which is cool, it would have sounded great over a bridge or in some kind of, you know, vocal solo spot or toward the end of a song, but just this itself doesn't really make for a compelling tune. But this is kind of the vibe of the entire LP. It's very loose, it's very casual, it doesn't really seem like hours upon hours upon hours of really intense song craft were kind of logged into this project, especially when you give a listen to the very next song on here, which is just sort of a brief interlude that's kind of lifeless and very underwritten. It sounds just like an unfinished demo. The song Work, which I guess was the big single from this thing, probably because it has a Drake feature on it, is one of the most obnoxious tracks on the entire LP. This thing just does not have a chorus. So in place of a chorus, Rihanna just repeats the word work. The subdued beat is boring. The verses are drab. There's absolutely nothing exciting or interesting about this track. It's sort of catchy, but the only thing that makes it catchy is the incessant repetition of the word work. I mean, if I repeated a word over and over and over, it would get stuck in your head too. Not to mention that the Drake feature on this thing is nothing of note. On the song, yeah, I said it, not only does this track lack a good tune, but it's just a very breezy, subdued, neo-soul ballad where Rihanna's vocals just don't show their true potential. She's just kind of got this breathy, lifeless delivery that a lot of people putting out music of this type on the internet have today, mostly because they don't have the vocal talent to do anything else. So why Rihanna's kind of stooping down to their level and doing something just as forgettable and just as uninteresting, I don't know. Rihanna needed better songwriters on this thing way better songwriters. And nowhere is that more apparent than on the song Woo, which is easily the worst song here. Travis Scott brings the production, which I was pretty excited to hear about that because I loved Rodeo, but uh, his sound does not compliment Rihanna at all on this track. Not only that, but this beat is awful. I would not want to hear anybody on this beat ever. I wouldn't want to hear this beat by itself. It has this ugly, shrill, tinny guitar line that is so crappy and so cheap, it just repeats over and over and over. Skip to any point in this song, the same crappy guitar line is repeating again and again and again. Not only that, but there's these really clumsy auto-tuned woo woo it's like Rihanna and Travis Scott actively tried to make the worst song that they could. The drums are stiff, lifeless, they have no flavor, there's no groove to this thing, Jesus. I'm sorry, but there's just like nothing defensible about this song. Now I will say there are some decent tunes, some decent songs at the core 
of a few of these tracks in the first half. Songs like Kiss It, Kiss It, Kiss It Bad, as well as Desperado. These songs have cleanly and clearly crafted verses and choruses. Rihanna's vocal talent really shows on these tracks, but the production is kind of skeletal, underwhelming to the point where it doesn't allow the song's full potential to flourish. Especially Kiss It Better, which I think could have used a heavier, punchier, more captivating rhythm. The instrumentation on this thing isn't full, it's not colorful, it's lacking, it's empty. Rihanna sounds really unsupported on this video. And it's not even minimal in a way that's interesting or moody like with Drake's If You're Reading This Is Too Late mixtape. Okay, going deeper into the project, we have the song Same Old Mistakes, a hyped song which was kind of billed as a cover of a Tame Impala track that appeared on their album Currents. However, this thing is not a cover. It's a glorified remix at best, some decent karaoke at worst. Kind of reminds me of what Azalea Banks did with that Ariel Pink song off of her last LP. Except, I guess, Rihanna's take on this Tame Impala song is actually tolerable. Rihanna does absolutely nothing to the song. I mean, her and her producers literally sample the song itself. Most likely with the band's permission, I mean, obviously. But they just sample the instrumental and then just put Rihanna over it. It just reads to me as the mainstream mining for song ideas from smaller artists because they're completely lacking in any sort of songwriting inspiration, which is pretty obvious from tracks like Woo. The only redeeming thing about this record are the last four songs. Surprisingly, the album takes a turn for the better, and it turns really quickly. The song Never Ending is a little acoustic ballad, very pretty, and Rihanna gives a heartfelt vocal performance on this one. Then there's Love on the Brain. This one takes kind of a an old school Motown 3-4 soul song style on this one. And even though the blueprint and the formula is super obvious and just laid out in front of Rihanna, I mean, there's no way she could have screwed this up. It's kind of a fail safe. Uh, she does an amazing performance on this track. It's like she really channels her inner Etta James on this thing. The song Heliah is equally gorgeous and equally inspired. It has a great build up to you dig me. Love it when she reaches up into her range, but this track is just two minutes. It's just criminally short with such a, a great songwriting moment on this project. I don't see why Rihanna and her producers wouldn't just string it out into something a little more satisfying and complete. The song Close to You is a somber, intimate piano ballad, which is very dreary. Ends the album off on a sad note, and I, I think, again, one of the better tunes on the project here but these four tracks are really not enough to redeem the very boring, drab, and lifeless tracks that preceded them. Unfortunately, this project just did not do much for me. I don't even really hear anything on this project in terms of like a big smash hit that I could hear repeating again and again and again on the radio or being streamed endlessly on various music platforms. Well, considering this thing's on title, I mean, you know, Jay-Z and company are already preventing that. Unfortunately, Rihanna just did not deliver much on this project. She and her producers were really not ambitious on this one, I have to say. To be completely honest, while a lot of Rihanna's vocal performances are pretty decent on this thing. As far as the songs and the production go here, uh, it feels like a lot of this project is still under construction. It's just been given to us and sold to us anyway. I'm feeling a decent strong four on this thing. Tran. Zition. Have you given this project to listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Smash that like if you like. And uh, that's about it, me playing in the background. Rihanna anti-forever.